ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel the announcement we were all expecting especially after this afternoon we heard that Celtic um, will no longer sell the defender Brentford defender now Christopher Ayer he'd passed his medical late last night going into you know this morning and the deal had been done this afternoon before we get it guys please subscribe like and as per usual this review channel has been absolutely excellent um, hopefully the new format to feelings will end video the new thumbnail for the new season but anyway guys we're talking about Carl Stahlfeld, Celtic are delighted to announce and it's about time um, they've reached a game and obviously with Ruben Kazan for the transfer of student defender Carl Stahlfeld subject to the, obviously the, the usual conditions and national clearance. On satisfaction and gaining clearance Carl Stahlfeld will sign a four year deal. Now he's going to be placing obviously Christopher Ayer, he's going to have a big ask, um, a Swedish international of course Carl has been with Ruben Kazan in Russia since 2019 and previously played with IF Goldberg. Uh, Celtic manager Ange Posko said, I'm really pleased the agreement has been reached and we're really looking forward to Carroll joining up with the squad. Carroll's experienced player and someone with the attributes to be a real success at Celtic. And I hope he has because I've been looking at him, um, you know, um, I'm pretty sure I did a video a couple of days ago, maybe potentially, uh, you know, I was talking about his stats, his height and stuff. He's a really good defender and he's his team in fact got the second best defensive league in the their league, uh, the Russian league with Ruben Kazan last season um, also Ange added that uh, he's strong, athletic and committed defender which we need at Celtic a strong, athletic and committed you know, you'll commit Celtic, you know what I mean and we'll add quality to our squad which we definitely need I'm sure he'll be a player our supporters will welcome warmly and someone who will be really important for us going forward Carol will be always subject to standard quarantine protocols and join the squad as soon as possible. Um, you know, um, obviously it's a direct replacement for Chris Ayer who also left today to join English City Brentford. Uh, he'll join up, obviously Starfit will join up the Celtic shortly. Um, obviously on upon arriving he's going to do the quarantine which is a bit disappointing. He's 26 years of age. Uh, we will want to hit the ground running over and most likely likely um you know break into the team in the SPFL over the coming weeks. Celtic are set to kick off their new SPFL campaign um on the thirty first of July. So that's a week on Saturday. Wow, you know. It seems it seems so far away and now it's not. A week on Saturday we play Hearts at Tynecastle first opening game of the season away. Um of course that looks to be soon for the defender but the Dundee game a week later at Celtic Park could potentially see the sweet debut but um but we did play well on yesterday's game. Um so I expect obviously for the, the return like uh Michelin's obviously when we play Michelin of course at their ground. Um I do expect the defence of Stephen Welsh and Dane Murray. Obviously that, that that's not a it's a decent when you put it on paper it's not a good defence but he was solid last night Dane Murray I come on for obviously the stupid red you know the daft and stuff and he beat on he looked solid, no nonsense. Welsh, my God! If it wasn't Cal McGregor getting the man in the match, it was obviously going to be Welsh man. He was not the only one that was putting out the part performance, but he was definitely a you know defender, you know. Um, and yeah, um, my thoughts on the defender. It's about time we've signed one because you know, as I said, it's a week on Saturday until we um, until we get our SPFL campaign underway. And it's it's much more much much important, especially you know, not more than the last season in general, but so that's gone now. But you know what I mean. It's very important this season, especially because the board have to buy Ange Postecoglou and still have to get the finger out and give Ange Postecoglou the money. He's already got us the staff out, and we knew that was going to come in as soon as Chris Ayer left for the thirteen point five million. We've got thirteen point four million, maybe potentially some of that. Obviously, the reason it was like four million for. Uh, it was going to Ruben Kazan for staff out, so potentially you've got you know like some nine nine slash you know kind of ten region million, so you've still got that money there. Now, for example, you need a goalkeeper because you've seen yesterday's performance against Michelin Barkas. I'm sorry to say, I've tried to back him all you wanted. He's not a Celtic keeper. Um, I think there was another five million down the drain. Um, I think AK Athens got lucky with the, the money we spent on him. To be honest. Um, you know, your goalkeeper, you're looking at another defender in the door, we need another defender. A right back is crucial as well. We're not gonna get looks like we're not gonna get one from France because Soppy then rumours that Soppy doesn't want to go or the other guy as well. So we're gonna be looking for another right back potentially. Uh Portuguese league potentially there's rumours there. But guys, that is all rumours. Um Celtic just still need to give Ange the money. 
and give the backing he needs, uh, give the body to give Ange the backing that he needs, so that Celtic can put a fight up against Rangers uh, in this campaign for going to the title last season. If not, we're going to struggle again. Um, and it's not the fact that you might finish second; it's the fact that if Rangers do win the title this season, uh, this season coming up, um, they will qualify right into the Champions League, which is, you know, big money. It is big money, you know. If Celtic, uh, it's a big if, but if Celtic do qualify for that one, this this season Champions League and Rangers don't, you know, Celtic got all the money, but it's a big if, um, because the board need to back Ange, you need to give him the money he needs, and the signings need to be in. It's about time we've got one in the door now. It's Carl Stalfeld, he's in the door, just get international clearance done. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like as per usual. These reviews in the channel have been absolutely excellent, and I hope you have enjoyed the video. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video very shortly.